the charity build for Make a Wish Foundation. Um, I'm getting close. Uh, last time I spoke to you, we got this bot fired up. Um, today we're just gonna I'm just gonna go through fitting the original airbox, um, all its components uh, to the bike. Fitting in our nice new air filter to the bike as well. Um, just to show you how it all goes together, um, it's one of the things, there's a lot <laughs> a lot of bits to an airbox, so um, I can run you through it, through it, it might help someone. So, uh, first thing I'm just going to get a flathead screwdriver and remove the pod filter that we test the engine with. Okay, so we're going to put this in. So, the first thing we're going to do is We'll start with our freshly painted airbox. We're going to install the air filter sort of core, I suppose you would call it. Um, so what I do is just make sure that I've got it sitting the right way around so that when that goes on, that this pipe is sort of angled the right way for the carby and we'll go on and we'll get it lined up nice and neat so that is right push it hard in make sure it's sitting right back um, and just tighten up the hose clamp I normally put it on the inside um, normally you have to remove the filter to get to this anyway so um, it just keeps it out of the way nice and tidy get that nice and tight um, and then basically we'll slide that on um, with the hose clamp we've got for there and we'll put the rest around this screw and grab and that clamp so I've just hit them with a bit of brasso just to tidy them up a bit um, just to make them look a bit a bit fresher uh, a bit of lanolin oil or WD-40 or something like that just to make sure that they're, they're running right. So, and this. There we go. Ah, oh, that's on now. So I won't bolt it up. I won't tighten it up just yet. I've got just one of our little 10mm bolts. Uh, I've got a big flat washer. This has like a, a two prong latch here, so the bigger washer just to make sure I pick that up. I'm not going to tighten this up as well, but I'm just going to put it in place. Just start the thread a bit, just. hold everything in. Now we've got this this bolt here. So this bolt here is the one that goes in the bottom of the air filter underneath the hose. The reason is it's got this this end it's got should be blocked up at the moment but it's got a thread in this end of it. So this will tighten up to the to the um the bike and then this will be the bolt that the plastic down tube We'll go through into so that we can basically get that right. I think I've got that right. I'm just going to grab a 10 socket. I'm just going to tighten up. This is tightened up now. We've got our bolt back here. To air filter. Now these air filters, this thing always falls off. Um, so I just make sure it's in place uh, before I put it in gently. Slide this in. I don't think there is a, a wrong way that this can go in. It's the both same way. So um, for some reason I put the joint on the filter at the back. Don't know if you Just 
making sure right now, so I put that in that to come off, so I'm making sure that's on. Plate. I always put the plate, the shape of the plate follows the shape of the air filter. Um, and then we've got this bolt with the wing nut. So I'm just going to take that wing nut. I've got this rubber on, um, polished up these a little bit just to make them a bit look a bit newer. Um, this one I always sort of it's a little bit tricky. Um, sort of going to bend the rubber up, get in the right space. There's actually there is one thing I didn't mention. There's a rubber seal that goes on the back of this this case, runs along. Just make sure that's intact and, and in place, which this one is. some reason that's in and the bolts not all the way out so um we've got a little bit of a gap here but not enough to close it up so I think you know in the build process of bits and pieces from other bikes maybe this is slightly different to this or somewhere along the line we've, we've gone out of whack a bit so I'll, I'll, I'll suss that out we might actually space out that bolt um, I've actually got some other bolts here as well. Down the back. Uh, one thing I did notice is it wasn't 100 percent tight, so I shall get to the bottom of this and be back. So it's okay, turns out I'm a complete goose. Um I put the longer side in that way. It's actually the shorter side comes in this way under that plate which leaves a longer thread out for that to go on to, which makes sense if you think about it, but um, yeah, got it the wrong way around. But anyway, tighten that up now. in nice and tight now and the right way around which helps just when you put these clamps on just make sure that you've got it the threads this way so that you can actually get to them because if you put it on the back it's going to be up in your shock um, probably not going to be so easy to get on so let's try this now that we've got it the right way around sticks out far enough to get the wing nut and washer on now when you put it the right way around so I'm gonna put that on now and just tighten that up a bit just get that sitting 
nice and flush. Just wiggling the rubber around. Getting everything where it should be. left this one off loose. Uh, fairly tight but not completely tight enough so don't drop that. Tight now, so let's move your finger marks off there. That's our air box installed. Um, I've got the stickers coming, the CT1 stickers, uh, CT110 stickers to go on this, so um, make it look the part. It looks nice. Um, the, we'll do a little sneak peek of the, the down tube. So, you can see that all sort of lines up nice and neat now. Um, I don't know, remember, I actually this down tube was broken through here, so I've actually made this. I've made this new section, so I haven't drilled the hole. Um, I wasn't going to until I've got it all in place. Um, and I'll drill the hole to line up with that. Put a nice new bolt through there. Um, other things, I, a couple of things I did when I wasn't on camera is I've painted the gear lever. I've just got to clean up that rubber, um, bolt them up. I've put the front sprocket cover on. I've put the uh, chain guard on, put its stickers and everything. Uh, I'll put this little guard on down here as well. So everything was straightened up, pot, painted, cleaned up, bolted on. Um, we've got a rack actually, I mentioned that. Got a little toolbox underneath here. So this rack, um, good mate of mine, Dave, big Dave, that does um, Posty TV with me and Jeff. Um, just before we did Posty TV last week, I said, um, I need a, we we're sort of going through the things I need of the charity building, if we could have a shout out to someone, and I said, I need a new rack, and um, I want it to be a nice shiny one that looked brand new, so um, Dave's like, oh, I've actually got one sitting in the shed, come around and grab it, so um, went around the weekend and grabbed it and fitted it on, so I've just got to do a few more things, got some, some of the light, some new bolts in here, um, yeah, the bike's looking pretty nice now. Um, it's going to be a great bike, so someone's going to get a, get themselves a good bike. It's, um, I come down the other day, gave it a bit of a kick over, and she started up for a shot. So um, I might just test that now, but it's going great. Well, um, why don't we give it a quick go? Turn the choke on. been started today at all. Okay. Um, that was the first cold start so it's run nice and quiet. No noises. Alright, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy it. We'll speak to you soon. Subscribe. Uh, yeah, see ya.